if, if it was not complete, it is complete. I, I've apologized so many times, Mr. Plotkin, over the past 40 years for that unfortunate decision of mine to follow the direction of the president and, and take actions. Over my five decades of career, I've made mistakes. That was the biggest one I've ever made in my life. I think I've apologized and atoned for it. I've learned from it, and it's time to move on. Look, we have a crisis in the state budget. We went through numbers today, and if you were in the room, you saw them. If you take a normal two-year cycle, we would have revenue increases of something and something like 7% a year. We don't. We've had a revenue decrease of 12% over a two-year cycle. That is approximately a $4 billion gap from what is normal. This is the time when we have to focus on reforming government, on making it simpler, more effective, more cost-effective, and, and, and more consumer-friendly. And that's what this commission is focused on. I just have to just follow up something more current was you were cited by the Securities and Exchange Commission and you paid a personal fine of $100,000. Sure. Your firm, Thayer Capital, paid a fine of $150,000. Same heard, answer, Mr. Plotkin. I, I heard state pensions being mentioned today. If, if that was a long time ago, doesn't this particular involvement in you being voluntarily paying this fine have something to do with what your current work is today? I'd like to, sh I'd like to shift to other somebody else asked a question sure. after this. But no, I don't think it does. I, I, I think we did, we did fa fail to disclose. We, we paid a fine. Uh, it was uh, some time ago. We did make a mistake on disclosure, and we learned from that at our, at our firm. But no, it doesn't affect it. We have an important commission work ahead of us. And I'm delighted with the substance that I hope you all were there to hear the full extent of the substance that we covered. To me, it was it was illuminating, it was inspiring, uh, but it was also breathtakingly difficult because we've got a real task ahead of us. This is not simple stuff. This is hard work. I've got a commission made up of all of volunteers, total volunteer group of people, and I couldn't be happier with the with the breadth and the depth of the knowledge that's represented there. And uh, we're going to be working very, very hard to, to, to make this a more effective state government. Any other questions? Are you afraid, the, the background coming up, are you afraid this is going to take away from the commission's work, all the focus on you and, and your history here? Can I answer that? Absolutely not. This man is eminently qualified to head up this, this commission. As he said, we've got uh, uh, jobs in an economy that is, that is hurting in the Commonwealth, hurting in this country, not getting any better. I, I imagine you saw the jobs report today. It's not getting better. We need to look at new ways of delivering government services, of making government leaner and more efficient and more economical. Here's a guy that's been doing this for 50 years. Here's a guy that knows how to do this stuff. Let's not talk about stuff that was done 40-some years ago. That's absurd. Well, He's, Mr. Speaker, on that subject then. This is the last question too, by the way. It was, it was illuminated during, the, during this meeting that there have been a number of these reform-type efforts in the past, many of them with, with unfulfilled expectations. Uh, what do you say to your constituents, to the citizens who would say this has been tried before and not been completed successfully? Why, why should folks believe that this, well, let's, let's, this time it will work uh, hasn't in the past? That, that's a very, very good question. As you saw from those charts, there are a number of recommendations from past uh, commissions that have not been executed. Look, you can say the glass is half empty or you can say it's half full. I give those past commissions and those past governors great credit for doing what they did. The majority of the recommendations were executed, but there were some important ones that weren't. I mean, why would you not want to contract, why would you not want to have competitive bidding on all state roads? I don't know. That wasn't executed. Why would you not want to have everybody, every agency, buying under the state cooperative electrical agreement? I don't know. Uh, yes, there are some important ones left undone, but they did an awful lot. Let's give them credit where credit was due. We're going to pick up from that. We're going to take immediately and initially look at those but we're going to look at a range of others. Will all of ours get executed? Of course not. Maybe some of ours won't be great ideas, but we're going to do our best to come up with a, a list of reforms and ideas to simplify, to, to streamline to some extent, and it's not just about making it smaller, it's making it better. And that's what Mr. we're going to try Howard, to do. With Thank all that's happened in the last few weeks with I, the Democrats... I don't think we're taking more questions. Well, Make this you, the very, very last one. Sure. With go. all that has happened in the last few weeks with the Democrats and in the media, did yes. you ask or consider telling the governor that you would not, sir? No. Thanks, everybody.